go. Check this one out. Looks like a lot of gamer type stuff. Headphones, computers, uh, some age to it, older boom box. So we'll dig right in, get this out of the way, and see what we got going on. It's how many times these people didn't pay. Every one of these is a, represents a past due non-payment. So anyways, let's dig in. Anime figure, nice. Take that. Hmm. Sega. It's all in Japanese, so uh, even the paper inside is in Japanese. Headphones, those are in there. Uh, this one's marked Christmas. Let's see what let's see what happened for Christmas. So, huh? Star Wars Hot Wheels. Star Wars playing cards. Uh, ooh, the gloves. Sweet. Oh, here we go. Ooh. Starbucks. It's actually really good value in the Starbucks mug. See, it looks like it's a money thing. Is the money in here? Nope, no money. Merry Christmas. Glad you kept the dough. Oh, here we go. Check it out. The GameCube. That's killer. Some more anime. Anime stuff. Sealed. Brand new and sealed. And then just a whole box of computer stuff. So this will be a good one to go through later. PS3. Tales of whoever that is. It's a, some deluxe collector's edition. This box is marked Japan stuff. Let's see what we got. I don't even know what that is. That's a game cartridge from something. Sealed. All this stuff. Is that a link? Or whatever that do. I mean, there's just massive amounts of volume here. Pokemon store bag, I assume. And there's some Pokeballs. This is. Looks like some snacks. Looks like we got snacks. Old Canada dry box. Kind of right up my alley. I like that stuff. Here's a Batman action figure. Grand Theft Auto, PS3, Sega Genesis, and Back to the Future. There's a Funko Pop, whatever those things are. Civilization 4. Oh, yep, and it's in there. That's nice, we'll take that. Jeez, another PS, oh my god. The Office, PS, like a lot of this stuff is sealed. Game controllers. There it is. Ryo Foo. What's up, Ryo Foo? Display for uh, your amiibo. Can I tell you my daughter is going to steal that one? Can't go wrong with amiibo. Another amiibo. Another amiibo. Killing on the amiibo. This feels like a game console. There's the reveal. Yeah, it's three. It says careful. It's a good time. King Kingdom Hearts 2. So if you're into video game stuff, you probably already know what that is or anime. I have no clue. I have PS3. But it looks like it's the whole thing in there, so some kind of a special edition. So boom. Still got a long ways to go, but I'm really trying to get to that guitar case in the back. If you look in the back on the right. You can see the guitar case. If you also look, you can see the WWF ring. Hopefully they have some of the figures that go with that ring. Uh, still a long ways to go and a lot of stuff. So let's keep plowing. Got the anime theme going. This dude, his box was right out here. Check this out. Brand new in the box. Headset, controller, 20th anniversary. This box, an Amiibo Fest. Two more amiibo. Three pack. And then whatever this is. Yeah. Gideon. Check out so a PS3 box. I know that's gotta be worth some dough. There's uh games, PS3. Uh WWE WWF DVDs are actually pretty good. So more PS3. 
This guy even bought stuff and left it sealed. Like, these two are sealed. You know, I just bought them. He was a collector. That's how you can tell if someone's a collector. If everything's sealed or a lot of it's sealed, the dude was a collector. All right, so check this back out. Here you can tell they haven't been in the back in a while. It gets dustier as you go by to the back, but here you go. So, dusty Pokemon stuff. That back there, actually, the guitar case looks more like a banjo case, so I'm going to grab that. Oh, well, no, it's not a banjo case, and it's really light. Damn it. It's really light because it's empty. That's what I was waiting for, an empty guitar case. I just want to climb. Oh, here we go. I see a Millennium Falcon back here. Take a look at this. We'll pull that out, see what that's all about. There's uh, oh, there's the guitar back there. So, we'll dig deep. I don't know, stuff, matchbox. You know, even things like a box of emblems, you know? 280ZX emblems. This stuff is all money, there's a box of those things. If you want it, you can have this right here. A box of hats here looks like probably mostly San Francisco Giants. Oh, maybe not. I don't know what that is. Huh. There's even more here. 50 and nifty. There you go, I can wear that. Maybe they belong to uh, one of those hat clubs where they send you a new Giants hat every month. Oh, here you go. Most lockers have a bunch of these in them. Or Giants hats. Varying degrees of wear. But uh, here you go. Yeah, there's some money and money and hats right there. So we're looking for the figures to go with that ring. I think I just found them. But I Feeling like are these rest? I don't know what that is. is. That a wrestling dude? This is a wrestling dude. But this whole box looks like it's full of action figures. Not all wrestlers, but there definitely are some wrestlers in here. Who's that dude? Is that the Undertaker? Oh, there he is, Stone Cold. And then what's his name? It's my favorite wrestler right there. The Red Power Ranger. Fair amount of other figures and, and whatnot. Let's take some Star Wars. We'll take Star Wars. We'll take. Is that uh, Burt Reynolds? <laughs> <laughs> yes, ben, that's Burt Reynolds. And yeah, there we go. Giddy up. Checking the wallets. You always gotta check the wallets. It's always best to do it with a uh, tweed jacket on. What you found in a storage locker? Yeah. Wallets full of nothing. Open up big enough for my giant head. That does not fit. Looking in the front corner, we thought it was all play swords. There's a whole bunch of play swords in here. Gun sword, I made out of wood. Play samurai. But then, this is a ridiculous thing. It's, it's, I'm 6'4, this is taller than me. <laughs> Can't even get it out. Ah, look at this thing. This thing is ridiculous. Here, go back up a little bit. Let's see. Look at this stupid thing. What the hell? Check this out. Now that's a sword. Let's go get uh, another load of crap. Let's do it! Some early, not early, some 1990s junk era baseball card. A lot of junk era. Now these I don't know a lot about. This, is, this isn't my realm, but comic books. There's a. I just went down in value. So I do that. Spider-Man, Demon Hunter, Marvel Adventures. 
see if I can damage him in the process. There's a bunch of Spider-Mans right there. Wolverine, Conan, Hulk, more Hulk. Worth a few bucks, right? This is kind of interesting. There's a... They kept a bunch of cans. They're all the Star Wars cans. I only find this interesting because I'm actually a can collector. I collect old beer cans and old soda cans. But these are all... Uh, all Star Wars characters. I don't know what they're worth, uh, but they all—they drained them all from the bottom. There's a ton of manga in here. Pokemon dollar store and stuff there. But yeah, so this is all manga, which is cool. Uh, I always like finding money. Pokemon red, and then red and yellow. Oh, look at the little homies. Check out the. You know your your thing. These are little homies. They're actually called little homies. Star Wars coins. It's definitely in there. Unless there's something else, but it feels like it. It's Amiibo Madness. A big bag of toys. It's mostly like uh, maybe McDonald's toys. I think they deserve another Pokey. It's the Mew or Mewtwo. That dude. And then we got. Now we got cards. Can you see him or is it too dark in here? Or is it just dark because I'm wearing sunglasses? You. More cards. And then, uh. Another thing. Oh. Well, Looks like playing cards on the bottom. Not a bad box, we'll take it. Good stuff. Alright, let's crack this bad boy. You ready? Crack in the safe. Always gotta crack the safe. Like me before my beard got big. Well, the easy part was the buying of this locker. There's lots of good stuff, lots of you know wrestling type stuff, lots of lots and lots of video games, just games, game systems. There must have been six or seven game systems. Uh, lots of anime, lots of you know cards. There's a wrestling gold cards. There's lots of different you know sports cards. Mostly junk era stuff, but there's lots of interesting stuff. There was over 10 different Amiibos still in the pack. Um, there was lots of 25 to $50 items. I would say probably 200 items that fit in that category. So it was a great locker, good time. Um, now we just got to crank it out. We got to sell it on eBay. We got to sell a little bit on uh, Facebook. Got to do some... Uh, take a load out to the swap meet and just kind of move some stuff so you know it's easy you buy a locker but now you got to sell it and that takes time and, and that's where time is money so that's what we'll work on but we'll do really well uh make multiple thousands of dollars off of a 500 dollars locker so it was a good one now we're gonna move on to the next one yeah.